Welcome to Serpentine Creative. I'm your host, Stella Williams, and I will be continuing my write process series with formatting. Hey y'all, so today we are going to talk about formatting. So regardless of if you're going the traditional publishing route or the self-publishing route, you will have to do some sort of formatting of your work. Um, I'm going to talk about traditional publishing for a minute because that'll be really quick and super easy because for the most part, all you're going to have to do is format your manuscript properly. There's plenty of tutorials and templates and everything manuscript formatting super super easy especially if you use uh, writing software like vellum or scrivener and you can just straight up export your work right into manuscript format and it's super easy so if you're traditional publishing formatting should be relatively breezy for you um there's other parts of traditional format uh, publishing that are much more tedious than with self-publishing, but I mean, formatting just isn't one of them. Now on to my self-publishers. Welcome to the club. Welcome to the club. I mean, I know I have a publishing company now, but I still kind of consider myself self-published because I am still publishing myself just now with my company. I don't know if you guys, you can debate that or not. Am I self-published? Am I indie? Am I just regular? Tradi I'm not traditionally published, obviously. But uh, back on topic. So uh, formatting for self-publishing. Um, this is where it kind of gets a little complicated because depending on what you're writing, like if you're writing a fantasy novel or if you wrote a comic book or if you have a children's book, uh, there's all these different things that you have to think about with like print size, if you plan on print or if you just do, want to do ebook. Um, there's like print sizes and margins and bleeds and it can get pretty complicated and there's lots of lots and lots of blogs on it, but if you plan on going through any of the print-on-demand services, luckily they have each have their own PDF guide and templates to help you with figuring out format the proper formatting for your style of writing and choice of uh, publication. So uh, the easiest one by that I've tried so far would be through Amazon. Um, I did my print books for my Morris Men series through Amazon when they were Create Space. Now it's all under KDP. I don't exactly know how that works because I decided to switch to uh, Ingram for my um, Secret of Sarah series. Um, but Kindle by far has like the easiest setup. Uh, you just have your Word document and they have a whole program called Kindle Create and it'll format it for you and you can jazz it up and make it all fancy and they have easily definable templates. You just, you know, choose like, oh, romantic or mystery and you like put it on there and then your text all comes out all flowery or, you know, whatever's common for that genre. Um, and it's just a really simple process. The only issue with using Kindle Create is that when the output file is specifically for Kindle. So if you use it, that formatting isn't going to be transferable to any other um, programs or uh, print distributions. And for draft to digital because I just started um, doing draft to digital as well uh, to expand my distribution of my books as they come out of Kindle Select. Um, 
draft to digital is just about the same. Um, instead of having a program that you can download directly to your computer, you do it all online. So there's like trial and error with that. And uh, they have a similar setup as um, KDP print now, uh, where you can, where they take your ebook manuscript and uh, convert it to a print on demand file like PDF so that you can get print books from it as well. Um, I'm not sure about draft digital's quality because like I said, I'm going through Ingram Spark for my print books now. Um, but uh, let's see, I can show you real quick. So like this novel I did with Create Space and like it's just like super basic on the inside but uh, so this is my third book y'all if you haven't checked it out go check it out and uh, let's see if I have my other one I don't have it here but um, my most recent novel uh, ferocious I did with Ingram spark the cover quality and all that stuff is relatively the same uh, but I will say Ingram sparks formatting was way harder to figure out like I formatted it in Word which isn't all that hard a lot of templates and tutorials are available for you um, to do that and then you have to convert it to a PDF for Ingram Spark but they have all these like crazy nitpicky details and I know it's supposed to produce a better quality product but even being like someone who's done book formatting before it took me a good three or four tries before I got it to specs and then I got my print version <laughs> and even after even after doing the proofs I got my print version and all of my extra pages to make sure that all of my stuff was like aligned properly were like deleted and so my chapters start on the left instead of on the right so that's something else I have to figure out now but um yeah, formatting is definitely a pain. So if you don't want to go through the trial and error of figuring all of that out, there are people who will, that you can pay to format for you. Like, no shame in the game. If that's something that you want to budget for, you can go ahead and do it. And I mean, formatting is generally not that expensive. Uh, you can get your book formatted like, on Fiverr, although um, I don't know, I use Fiverr a lot. There's certain things I don't use it for. Uh, I haven't used it for formatting, obviously, because I figured it out well enough on my own at this point. Uh, but there are people on gig sites like Fiverr, and you can find people on Facebook through writers groups who are into formatting, or you can just check out YouTube channels and see what other people are doing um but yeah format your books y'all get cracking get going get those novels on the way i'm way too hyper <laughs> well next week's video is going to be a little switch up i'm no longer going to be doing the right process I will be doing the right publishing. Check back in. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.